Cool. So, can I tell you a little story about seafood? We worked with some fishermen off the coast of North Carolina in a little town called Beaufort. And a typical story of how that fish gets to market is that they'll go out and catch fish. They'll ice them down, they'll bring them to the dock, and they'll offload them from their boat into some boxes. They'll ice down those boxes, and there's a truck. That truck goes from Beaufort up into the Bronx, to the old Fulton Fish Market. Now that fish up in New York gets reboxed, re-iced, sold from a broker to a distributor, probably put on another truck, and sent back down from the Bronx in New York to Raleigh, Durham in North Carolina, where it's sold to another distributor. And they'll deliver it to a local restaurant in North Carolina, not 300 miles from where that fish was first caught. It doesn't make sense. The system is broken. What we're doing about it is we're trying to remove a lot of links in the chain. And that started out with connecting fishermen with chefs. He sends out a daily list of everything he's got, where it's caught, from which dock they're coming from, um, practically the name of the fisherman type thing. With a daily changing menu, it allows us to get quality and variety um, and freshness um, all from the same place. Docks and fishermen don't advertise in the yellow pages. What you have to do is you get into a car and you pick a point on a map and you show up. Here we go. What's up, buddy? I'm Sean. I'm Sean Dimon. Sean, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, man. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. you too. I'd offer to work for free, and that I just wanted to learn. What is this? Christmas Christine. for me. Yes. Thank you. Christine. Wow. We can put your name on them too. Uh, you know, embroidered would be nice. Time to go work. They blow you off the first day, you show up again the second day. And you just be persistent. I learned a lot. I learned that fishermen in all different places have the same issues. They need a better market for their catch. When I leave the dock, I just want to go out there and make a paycheck. Right. 40, 40 years ago, the 4050 shrimp was $1.50 a pound. The same size is now worth a dollar or a dollar and a quarter. Our biggest problem is getting chefs to want to try new things. There's so many other fish out there. Our dive fishermen will want to go out and spear bar jacks, and that is something that people don't know about. And it's very inexpensive, very affordable. I mean, these are the fish we eat. <laughs> these are the fish we like. I think most of it is they just don't know. That's where you know, organizations like Sea to Table can come in and start to introduce those products to those people. You can't be complacent and innovative at the same time. We import over 90% of the seafood we eat in this country, and we export a great deal of what we catch right here in our shores. We figured out how to take fish that American fishermen are catching and get it to people's doorsteps, telling them not just what fish it is, but where it was caught, how it was caught, even by who. Northwest North Pacific Coast. We have to bypass an existing system that's built on opaqueness. Running through that and building around it and making it happen, it's difficult. It's difficult to be more simple. So when you open it up and you think of it as a commodity or as an international market, you lose quality, you lose taste, you lose flavor. And now we work with over 50 different docks and independent fishermen all over the country doing the same thing, shipping their catch to people who care.